Hey, welcome back to Cobb's Q. I'm Kevin Cobb, and today we're doing something I've been dreaming of forever. We are making bacon. I was always scared about this whole thing about making sure that it was properly cured. Well, you know what? It's not that difficult. Hey, you know, you can go down to Costco and pick up a slab of 10 pounds of pork belly for about $30. But it's really about the process of making your own bacon and slicing it as thin or thick as you want. So we are gonna step you through the process today of making brine, some with maple and bourbon and some with some other stuff. We'll get into this. We let it brine in the fridge for nine days. Then we're gonna take it out, wash it off, put it back in the fridge to form a pellicule and that will help the smoke to adhere to it the following day. So let's go ahead and get this pork belly going. To go ahead and prepare our bacon, uh, the first one, we're gonna do two different types today. We're gonna do one that's maple bourbon, and we're gonna do one that follows all the way up to the point of adding the maple and the bourbon. We're not gonna do it. And later, when we smoke it, we're gonna use the Bearded Butcher's Black Blend and we'll put that on the bacon just prior to smoking. So let's go ahead and prepare that since that is a complete dry rub. And with that, I keep my measurements beside me the whole time I'm doing it. I've sat down with a scale already. But with this, we're gonna put 40.5 grams of salt. We're gonna go ahead and add 23 grams of black pepper with brown sugar, it's 35.8 grams. And then we have our cure. And a cure with this one, we're gonna use 5.7 grams. It says to use one level tablespoon of cure number one to five pounds. And some of my measurements say 5.66. I go with 5.7 because that's what a full uh, tablespoon gave me. Make sure it is cure number one. The pink dye is just letting us know this is not salt. Really important, you don't go pick up pink salt from the store and use that in place of cure number one. Make sure that you're using the nitrite cure number one. It's just pink so we know it's not salt. We're gonna mix this up real well. And once we've got most of the clumps out, then we're simply gonna rub this onto our pork belly. Now normally, I use a meat tub today, just so it, you can see it on video. I'm gonna carefully go ahead and put this just onto my cutting board. So it's easier for you to see what we're doing as we put this on. we we'll sprinkle half of it here. Anything going off to the edges, we wanna kind of bring back onto the bacon or the pork belly, just for the fact that this is measured and we wanna keep as much as possible on the product. And once we get it in the bag, anything that was left over, we'll take off and put back into the bag. I like to use two gallon Ziploc bags for this part of the process, uh, instead of using vacuum seal bags. Those bags get a little expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the fridge for 10 days. This, this is an inch to an inch and a half at most. Uh, pretty uniform thickness, so I can get away with 10 days. So we have that ready to go. I like to fold this up, notice the lip of the bag is folded in half and then we have all this leftovers we want to make sure because we've measured this for this particular set of bacon we're just going to go ahead and get it in here we'll rub it around okay now that we've got the rest of it in here and we'll just rub that in really good rub it into the sides the edges you got all that extra in there it's really easy to get it now to pop around to the edges then we're going to go ahead and do the other pork belly and then we're going to set this in the fridge so again setting up the next one okay so this one is our maple bourbon and with this once again we're basically following the same recipe this time i'm using 56 grams of maple syrup i have no idea how i got it there and then i've also got 56 grams of maker's mark it's gonna make a little slurry. Again, we're gonna wrap our belly in half. We're just gonna go ahead and put in half of this, pour half of it there. Rub that in. Note that this is, and I should have said it, this is skin off pork belly. Okay, now that we got it in, once again, we're gonna go ahead and push out as much air as possible. We'll take this, put this in the refrigerator. Every day we're gonna come in, we're just gonna rub it in like this. And then I'm gonna flip the bacon like this. Okay, it has been nine days 
and tomorrow will be 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove the bacon from the bags that we placed them in. And what we wanna do is wash these off pretty good. And then we're gonna let them rest inside the fridge overnight. And tomorrow we're gonna get them on the smoker. So we're gonna go ahead and just rinse this off. Leave the pepper that's there, it's fine. Get any excess salt, etc. off of here. Let these set. Pick this up, set it on our stainless steel pan, and I only use stainless steel for that, and we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna give it a quick pat dry. Doesn't have to be great. And we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. And then we're gonna leave this sit in the fridge overnight. We'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the smoking generator filled up. I'm just gonna use some apple pellets. And all we do here, start that going. And as that starts, plug this in, and we'll start the generator pushing air. And we should see some smoke start to flow in here. So it takes a moment for that to get going. Well, good morning. Finally, after nine days and then an overnight rest, it is bacon smoking day, and we're really looking forward to this. Here we have our maple bourbon. And again, we use Maker's Mark in that. Over here, we didn't use the maple and bourbon. We used the same black pepper. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and cover this and uh, the Beard Butcher's Black Blend. It looked really good on their video, so I figured, you know what, we got five pounds, let's do it. So we're gonna go ahead and cover this really well. And this is just gonna form a crust on the outside, and we're gonna get the sides too here in just a second. We have this one ready to roar. That'll be great. So again, we got maple bourbon. We got Beard Butcher's Black on the outside of that. We're gonna take take hangers now you can buy hangers from the smoking it uh, smoker website um, they're all stainless steel they got really good stuff this is from sausage maker it's half the price so you choose we just simply put this down where it's level push down into the meat same here and this is our maple and bourbon and weatherman once again got it wrong it's not supposed to rain today but you know that's all good Here's our bearded butchers, black. Got lining down below. Okay, we've got two temperature probes. We're just gonna slide this back. Let's go ahead and shut this up. Move this right over here and we've got it going about three quarters of the way for air. And now let's go ahead and set this up. So on our generator, we're gonna go ahead and set this for running at 80 degrees and we're gonna run for uh, three hours. We just really wanna get a cold smoke on the bacon. And then step two, I'm gonna bump to 150 and I'm gonna run again for another three hours. And finally, I'm gonna bump it up to 185 and I'm gonna let it go until the uh, food temperature reaches 150. I don't wanna get too high, I don't wanna go over 200, I don't wanna render the fat in a pork belly. So that's why I'm gonna keep it low as it goes. We will be back in about seven, eight hours. All right, so as the weatherman would have it, he called it wrong and it got dark, too dark on us to video and it started to rain a little. So you didn't get to see us pull out the pork belly from the smoke in its smoker. But what we did is went ahead and pulled it out of that. Then we placed it back in the refrigerator and let it rest uncovered overnight. Then we're gonna go ahead and slice it. Okay, as luck would have it, um, it's extremely windy outside and it started to snow. So we have to finish this inside. So, you know, we'll do what we can. We're gonna use the meat slicer today. First and foremost, make sure you put a cut proof glove on. I have the meat slicer set to three and a half. Get a little thicker cut. Last time I brought some up to my father, he's like, I love it, but it's not thick enough. So we're gonna try that. Since the bacon is longer than the meat slicer, we're gonna kind of fold it in half. And by folding it in half and then running it through, we'll get a full cut. So we're gonna hold it in here just like this. We're gonna run a test cut and we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like. And uh, I think that's a nice thick piece of bacon right there. So we're gonna go ahead and just run the rest of it that way. This is our maple bourbon. Some people do this by hand. I'm not good enough to do that. And mine is clean up this Bestwood 10 inch meat slicer. 
has been fantastic. Yeah, these are nice thick pieces. This, this would make my dad happy. Okay, now comes the packaging. So I learned a trick and I just wanted to pass this on. We're not gonna go through vacuum sealing all the bacon, but you know I love these. I've got these all over the place, you know, a couple bucks for cutting boards. Find a cutting board, measure your vacuum seal, and then cut this board. And now what we're gonna do is take our bacon We'll lay the bacon across this board. Most of the time when I'm doing this, I do six pieces of bacon because kind of hand it out to family and friends and whatnot. Okay, now we just reach into one of our bags, take this, slide it down like that, like that. And, and now we have a nice presentation on our bacon. We're gonna put this in the food saver. All right, after a lot of work, and it is some work, uh, we have two sets of bacon, which is gonna be phenomenal. We're gonna take some outside in a minute and cook it. We have our maple bourbon over here, and we have the Bearded Butcher's Black Blend over the crust of this particular bacon. So we can't wait to give this a try. All right, so we're gonna try these pieces of bacon now that we've done them. Now, we, we're not doing the nice full slices. Uh, we packaged those, but we're doing everything that was left over. We'll still get the same uh, flavor test to figure out how it tastes. We'll start off with a maple bourbon. Uh, once we've done this and tasted it, then we'll come back and we're gonna do the one that was covered with the Bearded Butcher's Black Blend. Do the same thing and we'll tell you how that tastes. These are close enough to being ready. While we wait for this to cool down for a moment, Let's go ahead and get the stuff on for the uh, bearded butchers. There is quite a smell coming off of this that uh, wasn't present with the maple bacon or maple bourbon. So cameraman, get your hand in there. All right, see how this goes. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Holy man. Lots of flavor in that one. I wasn't sure how it would taste with the bourbon mixed in. That's a win. That is such a win. That's pretty darn amazing. All right, the next set of bacon looks like it's ready. Definitely it's got a smell coming off of this that was not present with the other bacon. So this is gonna be a very interesting flavor. Again, that uh, black blend has a mix of uh, molat is it molasses? I think it's molasses and coffee. We'll let this cool for a little bit unless the cameraman is brave. Cameraman is brave. He's gonna go for it. Go for a small one. Right here, mm -hmm. juicy, oh my gosh. What are your thoughts on that? Unlike last time we cooked this, the flavor is so extraordinary. Oh, it really is. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain that one. Same here. It's a bacon flavor you won't get in the store. Cameraman's grabbing the second one. It's good. Saltier than the other one. But in its own way, is very, very good. It is. It is. This is this is something that um, would be fun to put out for people for maybe a holiday. I don't think it would be my primary bacon, but it would be something that's also out there so people can try it and enjoy it. It's very good. It's, it's very good. Wow. That was fun. Cameraman. With the last me. You don't get to see him do it, but uh, you get to see him uh, talk about it. Thank you for uh, taking the time today to sit with us as we went through making bacon in two different methods. There is nothing better than homemade bacon. It tastes so much better than anything you'll find in the store. It's really an easy process to do. A lot of people can use just a knife and slice nice and thin cuts or thick cuts, depending upon what you want. I'm not gifted with that. That's why I have the meat slicer. The only problem with that is cleanup. It is a bear to clean up, but beyond that, you can't go wrong making your own bacon. Once again, thanks so much for joining us today. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'll get more content coming out to you. We've got sausages coming out and a lot of fun cooks with our new smoker. Have a wonderful day.